Whether you're a creator, a marketer, or a business owner, this is 2021. Not creating videos for your brand just isn't an option. But you might have a few questions in your way. How will I create videos if I don't know how to edit? Will this take up a lot of my time because I've also got a business to run? And of course, is this gonna cost me an arm and a leg? Hi everyone, I'm Teresa with InVideo, and today I'm gonna to be showing you the best video editor in 2021. InVideo is the best online editor for creating videos in 2021 because it comes with over 4,000 customizable, ready-to-use templates, so you never have to spend money on templates. It comes with over 8 million stock images, videos, and music, so you don't have to pay for any of that. And it's an intuitive and easy-to-use video editor, even if you've never edited videos before. They also have a 24-7 support window in case you ever need to ask a question, and some other cool stuff ready to learn more Let's get started. Your very first step is easy. Just go to invideo.io. And then once you're there, you can go ahead and create a free account by clicking in the top right hand corner. And then once you've created your account and logged in, you'll see underneath your profile name, it says brand settings here. So that'll take you to a page that looks like this. And here you can type in your brand name. And here you can upload a logo. And then whatever colors you use for your branding, you can go ahead and plug them in here. You can put in your social media handles here. So just anything that has to do with your brand, you can plug it in on this page. And then if you just hit save, that's all going to be automatically applied to all of your videos. Okay, now let's go over some basic editing functions. I'm gonna go ahead and start with a blank canvas and we're just gonna do some basic editing. So if you wanna just make a blank video, go ahead and click blank canvas here and then just hit make a video and that's gonna bring you to the editor. And as you can see here, the branding that we just plugged in is already applied. So for example, this is where your logo shows up. Whatever logo you plugged in is gonna be there. All right, let's talk about some basic editing. So here's where you go to upload your video files. And I'm gonna go ahead and edit using this clip of a flower that I already have on. So to add that to my video project, I'm just gonna click it and drag it onto the canvas here. That's gonna pull up the video trimmer. So I'm just gonna select a short section of this video clip, hit done, and there you go, it's already added. So as you can see, InVideo automatically puts a title on top of your video. If you don't want that, just go ahead and click it, and then hit the little trash can icon on the right hand side. Also, if you don't want your logo on the video, you can do the same thing. Okay, so we just went over how to trim a video, but if you decide that you wanna use a different section, you can always just click the video again, come up to trim here, and drag this to a different spot. Or you can make it longer or shorter, and then just hit done again. And then let's say you wanna crop this video in a little bit, go ahead and click on it, and then hit the crop tool at the top of your screen. That's gonna pull up a new window, and here you can crop your video in, and then just hit done, and that'll apply it to your video. And then if you wanna add another video clip, just come down to your timeline and hit scene, and then let's go ahead and hit blank scene. Yes, we wanna add a new scene. And then we're just gonna do the same exact thing. So click it and drag it onto the canvas. That'll place it there. And you can trim it to where you want. And there you go. So now you've got both videos on your timeline. If you are new to video editing, we also have on our YouTube channel a whole playlist dedicated to beginner tutorials. So if you just head over to our channel, you can find all of the videos to help you. Okay, so that's a little bit about using a blank canvas. Now let's look at how you can use templates. Templates are great because they can really speed up your video creation process. So we're back on the homepage now, and as you can see, you have a couple different options for aspect ratios. So wide 16 by nine, that's gonna be your YouTube videos. Square can be for your Instagram feed. And then vertical, nine by 16, that's gonna be the size for Instagram Reels, TikTok, Instagram Stories, or IGTV. So let's say you wanna make a video for Instagram Reels. Just go ahead and click on the nine by 16 option. And as you can see, that pulls up a whole lot of templates that are pre-made and ready to use and very easy. And if you wanna make a video that's gonna go on multiple social media platforms, you can actually duplicate them and change the aspect ratio later on. We'll go over more about that later. But for now, let's go ahead and look at the templates we have here. There's a lot of templates for social media trends, which is super helpful because jumping on trends can be a great way for you to grow your business. So let's just go ahead and click on this one here. And then all you have to do is hit use this template and that's gonna bring you to the editor once again. But now you'll notice the editor looks a little bit different. It already has everything there for you. So even the audio from the trend is already there. So what you can do now 
is go to the upload tab again, upload your own videos, and then you can plug them into the template. So I'll show you how to do that with the videos that I have. Again, you're gonna take your video and drag it on top of the canvas, just on top of the image that's already there, and then go ahead and hit replace. You'll notice that there's a dashed line here that says scene duration. When you're using a template, you wanna just go ahead and trim right to that line. The templates are designed with specific lengths for each clip, so all you have to do is follow the guidelines that have already been created. So now as you can see, my video clip is in there. All right, so I mentioned earlier that you can duplicate and resize your videos for different social media platforms. So to do that, you're gonna come up to the top here where it says resize. And then right now this one is in vertical nine by 16. Let's say we wanna change it to a square. Go ahead and click on that. And then it says duplicate and resize here. Just click that. It's gonna open up a new tab. And there you go. So it's the same template, the same video, but it's just been duplicated and changed to a square aspect ratio. So you still have the other video as well and it hasn't been altered in any way. Now I'm gonna show you how you can find royalty-free stock footage and music. This is one of my favorite features personally. So let's go ahead and get into it. Come over here to the left side. You'll see there's many different tabs here. Click the one that says videos. So that pulls up the stock footage library. If you're using your free InVideo account, you can go ahead and uncheck the two boxes here. And that's gonna load all of the free options. So all of these videos are free to use and they're royalty free, which means you can use them as many times as you want in different projects. So if you wanna use one of these clips, again, just click it and drag it onto your canvas. You can go ahead and replace whatever is there already. Again, that pulls up the trimmer, just like if you're using your own videos. And then go ahead and hit done. Now you can also do the same exact thing with this music tab here. That's gonna pull up a lot of different music options that are free to use in your videos. All right, as you probably noticed already, there's a lot of different options here on the left side. So let's just go ahead and go over each one. The templates tab on the top lists some of the templates that we've been looking at already. So you can click one of these either to open a new project or you can actually add one of these to your current project as a new scene. Uploads, we already mentioned, that's where you can upload your own media. Videos, again, is the stock videos. The image tab is gonna be your stock photos. The music tab is where you find the royalty-free music. All right, text, here's a new one. So this is where you can go to add words on top of your videos. You can go ahead and add just a blank title here. And then you can change the font by coming up to the top, clicking on font, and then that opens up on the left side, this font menu here. So you can go ahead and change the font you're using. There's also a lot of pre-made text for you. You've got some animated social media handles down here, a lot of different themes, search boxes. So this is really helpful. The logo tab here is where you can go to upload your logo if you didn't do it when you opened your account. The folders tab is where you can go ahead and organize your footage. So for example, I was making a video about coffee, so I made a folder to put all of that footage into. We have some stickers here that you can put on top of your video and you can go ahead and search for anything you want. And then we have overlays. So a really fun example of an overlay is this confetti effect. So if you click on that, it applies it to your video. And as you can see, you get some confetti falling on your video. So this is a really useful tab here. You can also put shapes on top of your videos or masks. So if I click on a mask, what I can then do is come back to my Uploads tab and drag one of my files onto there again. I'll go ahead and trim that. And now that footage is only showing up in the little oval mask that we put on top of the other video. And then we have the Collage tab that gives you a few different layouts for displaying a few images at one time. And that's really all you need to know about all of these tabs on the side. Let's take a look at how we can add some transitions in between scenes. There's a lot of cool transitions on here. So to add a transition between two clips, you'll see there's a little box with a line through it in between each one of your clips. So click on that, and then that brings up the transitions menu. And then if you hover over each transition, it gives you a little preview of what that one looks like. So let's go ahead and click on that one. And then as you can see, it added it to your timeline. And then if you go ahead and play that, you can see the transition has been applied. And then you can always just click on that box again and select a different transition. 
Anytime you click on a video, it brings up another little menu and you can click timeline to go into a little bit more of an advanced editor. So the different layers that you see here are all of the different elements that are in this scene. So on the bottom, we have the video. And then as we move up, we have the text, a few different layers of text, and then your logo, which is in the top corner. Let me go ahead and zoom into this editor a little bit more. When you go to this advanced editor, you can change the in and out times for any of the elements in your scene. So let's say you want this text box to come in a little bit earlier. You can drag this out. And then if you want it to end a little bit earlier, you can just drag it out from the other side. And you can do that with any of the elements in your scene. You can also just click it and move it around. And as you can see, that text box leaves right before the other one does. And then to go back to your more basic timeline, just hit back to all scenes. All right, so once you've got a video you're happy with, come up to the top right hand corner and hit download and share. And then you're gonna go ahead and hit export and that's gonna load a preview for you. So before you download your video, you can watch it and just make sure everything looks good. And now if you decide at this point that you do wanna make different sizes for different social media platforms, you can duplicate your video from here as well. So you can just go ahead and click on a different aspect ratio and then duplicate it again. While this final preview is loading, we're gonna head back over to the home screen so I can show you one more cool thing you can do. So this is a little bonus hack I have for you. So on the home screen, we have the pre-made templates option, the blank canvas option, and then you'll also notice there's a text to video option. So let's go ahead and click that so I can show you what that does. So you can select your aspect ratio again, and then let's just go ahead and select the first template that comes up. So if you've already written blogs or articles for your brand, this is the perfect way to take the content you've already created and turn it into videos. This is such a handy tool, it literally takes minutes. You can just go ahead and copy and paste your title and then copy and paste the text from your article. Hit next. And now basically what it's done for you is created a template using the text that you copied and pasted. And then you can edit it basically the same way we've been editing before. So you can upload your own media and then just drag it onto the background. Also, if you click on the more advanced editor, that just takes you to the editor that we've already been looking at. So this is a great tool, again, especially if you have written media that you want to turn into videos. All right, so now you know how to create eye-catching videos for your brand within minutes for free online. But I know that's just half the battle. There are still a few more steps before you can actually leverage these videos to generate sales and leads for your business. So if you wanna learn more about that, I definitely recommend that you check out our tutorial on marketing sales funnels next. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. I hope it helped you get started on your video editing journey and I will see you in the next one.